Alright, what's up? what's up guys? Uh, today we're back with a new uh, GTX 1060 uh, benchmarking video for Fortnite. Uh, it's season 5 now. It's a, My video is a bit outdated. Even though it's done really, really well, I feel like I should update you guys with uh, season 5's uh, benchmarks and whatever. So let me pull up MSF to run it for you boys. Uh, here you guys can see GTX 1060 right here on the version 460.89. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. We have uh, Ryzen 5 3600 in here, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM at uh, uh, 32 me 3200 megahertz. Uh, decent air cooling in here should be perfectly fine on temps. Not too worried about that. Uh, but let's uh, get into a solo game right here and show you guys what's happening. Alright, as we start dropping down right here, see the average FPS, we're getting around. 55, 56 in the air itself. Not too bad, not too bad. I mean, on epic settings, it's pretty decent. We'll fly over to the henchman chest or something. Hopefully, I don't die all spawn. Uh, yeah, we're getting a fair amount of FPS right now. We Playable. This is around 60 FPS on epic settings right here. Uh, if we pull up again, let's go real quick to low settings to show what this will look like. And we start the recording. All right, start it again. All right, so we're getting around 200 FPS right now. Just ru running around right here. Let's get this chest. Ooh. Oh, it's this gun. Oh, okay, whatever. It's fine. I'll take it anyways. See if I get a kill. But, uh, yeah, on low settings, this is fully playable. If you guys have 144 hertz or even 240 hertz, you will definitely get 240 FPS in creative itself. Uh, I, won't, I wouldn't need to show that because I already know it. I've been doing it since day one. With a 1063 gigabyte version, anyways, right? So, let's just run around and find a kid. So let's go to Salty Towers real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. Our 1% lows right now are at 100 FPS, which isn't too bad. But uh, if you take a look at the GPU temperatures and the CPU temperatures, we're averaging at 64 degrees on the GPU and 64 degrees as well on the CPU, going down to the low 60s. Uh, GPU clock is almost at 1.9 gigahertz, so it's pretty decent. Uh, 1,800 kids right here. Let's fight these kids. Uh, yeah, see, as we walk into a more crowded area, we're getting around 136 FPS. Let's start the recording again. Just to show you. Yeah, 150 around FPS. Let's fight these kids real quick. Hopefully, they win this. That was pretty easy. Just take the stuff. Ooh, loot right here. Let's take that. Oh, kids are here. <laughs> it does feel a bit more laggy because I'm also recording at the same time, but I shouldn't reduce the, the performance too much. We got peas controlled, boy. Let's go, boys. That was insane. Peace control, peace control, Kyle. Let's go, boys. Uh, yeah, so after that, that's fine, whatever. We're averaging it around 170 FPS, 174 FPS right now. Uh, okay, now let's try again one more time. But this time, in a less crowded and less intense area. Right here, let's take a look right here. Yeah, 180 FPS roaming around in the sand. But if we look over here, how many frames do we get? We get around 144 FPS. Look in this area right here. So depending on where you look, 
the FPS could change. If you look over here, we're getting an average of 200 right here. But this could completely change if we look start looking over here. Get around 144. Like that. So yeah, it could totally vary between 144 and 200 frames playing around in the open right here. You just saw about that small little test we did right there. So yeah, I think that oh, okay, let's fight this guy first and then oh. This guy's scary. Come on. And I'm dead. I'm, I'm... Oh, well, that's done. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's fine. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, yeah, I got beasted. Uh, I'm lagging a bit while I'm doing this, but I don't know why people turn on this hard. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, 1060, 3 gigabyte version. Uh, Ryzen 5 3600, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. So this is what you would expect for a normal and simple gaming rig. Alright, so uh, stick around for the next few days for the RTX 3060 Ti Ventus 2X version, 8 gigs GDDR6 version. Uh, benchmarking video coming up soon. Alright boys, so I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy, like, sub, all that good stuff. See you boys.